Hello, my little dancing daisies and appreciators of the Death Triangle of Death. In this tutorial, we are going to look up at the Mirage 2000 laser guided bombs and how to drop them. Keep in mind that the Mirage has no TGP, so you'll need a body laser from either another plane or a JTAC on the ground. First thing you need to do is set up a proper code. You need to do this before starting the engine. Open your kneeboard and look up the laser code and set it to an appropriate code. Do not forget to tell your buddy laser about that code because it's probably not a mind reading entity and needs to know the code. Second, we'll load up the ordnance. Remember that you can only carry one, one type of air ground ordnance at a time. So don't try funny mixes or stuff. I personally always load up four magics along the bombs to go hunt defenseless scrubs once my ground pounding deed is done. Don't forget to take the D2M pylons and load up the Eclair pod. Request rearming. Copy. You can carry up to one GBU-24 or four GBU-12s. Do not forget not to mix this with air-to-air -air ordnance either. Last but not least, before takeoff, set your fly-by-wire on charge. Congratulations, you managed to take off without blowing your load. Now set up the attack. First, configure the bomb on the PPA. Set the fuse to instant or delay according to your needs. Set the release quantity to at least one Otherwise, you won't be releasing anything, you smarty. Check that the radar is on. Check that the altimeter radar is on. Set it to M if you forgot. Don't ask me what the English cockpit letter is. I have self-respect and did not put my cockpit in English. Next, on the PCA, set the master arm on. Select your bomb load. The GBU-24 will be called EF-4. The GBU-12 will be called GEF-2. Check that TAS is engaged. Now off to the designation process. Use the weapon system command forward to enter designation mode. You should have a diamond with silly wings on your head. Now visually look for your target. Enter a shallow dive to align the target with the diamond and press Magic Slave Air Ground Designate INS Update button. Yes, it's just one button. You should see longer wings appear on the diamond if the operation was a success. Unlike US fighters that assist their pilot like babies, there is no fall line on the Mirage, just a slight indication of the direction in the form of wings, because you're a plane. If you drift to the right, notice the wings will tilt to the left. If you drift to the left, they will drift to the right. Since you're smart, you understood that they are telling you how to place your own wings to get in the correct path. On the top right, you'll have the distance to the target in kilometers, and this is where I lose 75% of my American audience. The usual pickle range is about 9 kilometers if you fly between 7,000 to 10,000 feet. Don't pay attention to the small cross, that's the weapon position. If you didn't set one, you won't have this. Same goes for the little house if the cross is off sight. Now we're waiting for the release queue. It will come in the form of a bar that climbs up. Here's a little house, don't pay attention to it. Press Microp second stage trigger and hold it until the bar crosses the diamond. Once the bomb is released, you should have a warning light up. Don't forget to switch your fly-by-wire back to AA or you will get nasty surprises if you get into a turn fight. Bank and check if the bomb did pickle and call pickle away so your buddy doesn't sleep on the job. This is it for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. Did my bomb hit? I don't know. That's the other guy's job, I'm just a delivery boy. By the way, this will be the most frustrating part in this, having people that cannot designate stuff properly, or that don't know how to shift their laser code, or that 
escuchas. Dímelo y dice. Good luck.